Vietnam has official diplomatic relations with more than 180 countries. That means hundreds of foreign diplomats are staying in Vietnam to do foreign services for their country. Who says foreign service life is as boring as meetings after meetings? Well, this episode of Expo Living gonna feature a German couple in Ho Chi Minh City and you will see how meaningful and humane their foreign service life is. Olaf Macho and his wife Alicia Macho first arrived in Ho Chi Minh City in 2014 to work for the Federal Republic of Germany. Hello, yes, hello. Come in. Come on. In his position as Deputy Consul General for the German Consulate General in Ho Chi Minh City, Olaf Macho has been in charge of German-Vietnamese bilateral relations on economics, culture and education. The diplomat's wife also has her own mission in Vietnam. Alicia Macho has been elected as the president of the Consular Club of Ho Chi Minh City, a non-profit organization which comprises of members of other countries' consular missions based in the Southern Hub. The club strives towards helping to improve the quality of lives of the most disadvantaged groups living mainly in Ho Chi Minh City and southern provinces. All consular club members volunteer their time in this charity work. Aren't we all interested to help? It's a, it's a human being, right? So we can give uh, back something. and. Um, Actually, it's uh, my background. Um, I studied uh, social science. My major was international relations and I went to Korea to study NGO studies. I feel privileged and I want uh, to give back something. That's all where it's coming from. The Consular Club of Ho Chi Minh City was founded in 1994. In 2015 alone, the Consular Club assisted 14 different charity projects in Vietnam, costing from 1,000 US dollars to 10,000 US dollars each. Her activity is complementary to my activity and to my work. Um, I have a lot of uh, official uh, contacts yeah, with uh, representatives of uh, the government uh, of Ho Chi Minh City, but also the other provinces in southern Vietnam, and so I could open some doors uh, for the activities of the Consular Club. We are joining the Consular Club members uh, on their trip from Ho Chi Minh City to Ben Che Province. And where we are heading now is Tam Hiep Common. It is a small river outlet in the uh, Thien River in the Mekong Delta region. The Mekong Delta recorded the highest losses from the worst drought and salt water intrusion in 90 years. Binh Chai Province Tam Hiep Common has also been hard hit by natural disasters. Ferry is the only mean of transportation to get to Tam Hiep, a 14 square kilometer islet with a population of just a few thousand. Tam Hiep is a small river islet and the biggest problem here is the fresh water, especially during the dry season. Local people here does not have uh, the water system or the tap water and at the same time, the well water cannot be used. That is the reason why the consular club members are here to help. Nguyễn Văn Đồn Primary School on Tam Hiệp Islet has more than 200 pupils. Since January 2016, this cement tank to collect clean water for drinking has been put into use. The tank's construction was part of those charity projects funded by the Consular Club of Ho Chi Minh City. And today, Alicia Macho and some other members in the club revisit the place to evaluate the effectiveness of the project and prepare proposals for similar projects in other schools. So you use this water for cooking? Yeah. 
phải nói rất là mừng trường ở đây nó đóng trên một cái địa bàn ở cái đất của cồn bốn bề sông nước nhưng mà cái điều kiện mà để có nước sinh hoạt là vô cùng là quý mà khi mà được cái chương trình hỗ trợ như thế này thì nhà trường thấy rất là có hiệu quả During the dry season in 2016, more than 60,000 households in Binche province were forced to use salt-contaminated water. The Consular Club has provided funding for six cement tanks like these to collect rainwater and soya filters for locals on this islet. Nguyễn Thái Hòa in Hamlet 2, Tam Hiệp Commune used to restore rainwater in big ceramic jars for daily usage, including drinking and cooking. Rainwater is the only source of drinking water throughout the year for the islet dwellers. Nước dưới mương bơm lên ở trong hồ đó là chỉ để tắm giặt mà thôi. Còn nước nấu ăn là lấy từ nước mưa, lấy nước mưa xuống trực tiếp dưới hồ đem vô nấu. Thì nó cũng rất là dơ. Since the beginning of 2016, with the access to water filters, which cost around 65 US dollars only, Hua's family has had fresh water for cooking and drinking. After four hours operating the filter, Hua will have 20 liters of clean water. Nước nó rất là sạch, sử dụng cho cái việc nấu ăn cho các con nhỏ trong nhà đó thì nó rất là tốt. Cái thứ hai nói về cái vấn đề kinh tế thì nó cũng rất là lợi. Trước đó thì tôi sử dụng cái nước lọc tôi mua bình á, cứ 13 đến 15 ngàn một bình. Thì trong vòng 2 ngày như vậy thì tôi sử dụng hết một bình đó. Nhưng mà từ khi có cái này thì tôi thấy hiệu quả kinh tế nó cũng thấy là bớt hào tổng. Đó. Tam Hiệp Islet is 30 kilometers from the seashore. River water around the islet received salt water from surrounding canals. <cười> The salty water threatens plants and crops when it passes through orchards, fish and duck farms. People know the pollution, but there is no other water source. This is the only road leading from the main road to Mee Sơn Church in Mo Cây Bắc District, Bến Tre Province, and it is inaccessible to cars. The church is located along the main river, an ideal location to build a water filtration system to ensure basic needs of the locals. The first phase of water filtration plant is one of the major charity projects organized by the Consular Club in 2015. Okay, so this is kind of the same. Now it's dry season. That means there is not such um, good quality of water. Um, it's a good thing to also have a filtration system. And this is what we implemented here with the help of the parish some church. The 16,500 US dollars plant can filter up to 500 liters of highly saline river water in a day. Since October 2015, Mixon's filtration water system has been serving more than 100 households in this district. Từ khi có nhà máy nước thì người dân ở đây rất là phấn khởi, vui mừng. Lúc đầu người ta cũng không quen. Rồi một số người ở xa, người ta uống nước trực tiếp từ sông rồi múc lên uống gần nhà cho nó tiện, cho nó gần. Nhưng mà từ khi có nước sạch rồi thì đa số người ta biết được qua người này, qua người kia. Rồi có cha có thông báo nó cho nhà thờ nữa. Nên người ta hầu như là bỏ nguồn uống nước trực tiếp dưới sông múc lên mà người ta tới đây. Clean water was distributed to the local residents at 4,000 Vietnamese dong or 20 cent for 20 liters of filtered water. The minimum fee collected is to maintain the system.
Mission Church is now requesting an additional grant from the Consular Club to build a deeper water well within the church area. This project would give access to a natural water resource from a man-made well and would reduce the high risk caused by using the river water. The second phase of this project will be to drill a well. Got the information that will be 400 uh, meters deep. So it will be a, a very deep hole that they have to drill here to get um, fresh water mm -hmm. that is not um, contains salt inside. Alicia Macho, together with the club members from the U.S. Consulate General, are directly in charge of these clean water projects. The clean water shortage in this area was researched several times before the Consulate Club decided to sponsor the projects. The Consolo Club's charity projects focus on the areas of health, education and basic needs. Over the years, the Consolo Club has cooperated with Ho Chi Minh City Sponsoring Association for poor patients in order to reach out to more people in need. Today, the Consolo Club's president, Alicia Macho, and two other members of the club are joining volunteers at the association's Chintam branch in District 6 to cook free meals for the poor. I'm really impressed about this woman who come here every day. I just joined it like um, for five minutes and I'm sweating everywhere. The Consular Club has sponsored three industrial rice cookers for three charity kitchens like these in the city. An industrial rice cooker like this one can be set to cook 1,000 rice portions at once within 75 minutes. This charity kitchen serves 700 free portions of breakfast porridge and 1,200 vegetarian meals for lunch for the poor in Ho Chi Minh City a day. Hiện tại giờ là chi hội trung tâm trực thuộc hội bảo trợ bệnh nhân nghèo à, có thực hiện là bếp ăn là nấu cơm cho bệnh nhân ở bệnh viện Nhi Đồng 1, à, các bệnh viện trong cái thành phố và cơ nhở. Thanks to this campaign that supports poor patients and their families, 9 million and 500 meals have been distributed free of charge to poor patients in hospitals in Ho Chi Minh City. Relatives of patients at Ho Chi Minh City Pediatrics Hospital No. 1 begin lining up for their free meals. Eight-month-old Nguyễn Quốc Duy has been diagnosed with unusually small head, serious pneumonia and deformed tongue. For half a year now, the poor family has been traveling back and forth between their home in Dong Pa province to this hospital for the baby's treatment. It's so sad to see um, uh, we are now in the hospital of pediatrics. I mean, this, this is at least what we can do. We can uh, help them to have free um, food uh, for the day so they can spend, if they have other, they have to spend money on um, the treatment. Câu lạc bộ phụ nhân tổng lãnh sự thành phố rất là thân thiết với hội bảo trợ bệnh nhân nghèo thành phố. Thành ra năm nào cũng có giúp cho hội bảo trợ bệnh nhân nghèo thành phố và chương trình mổ mắt từ thiện cho bệnh nhân nghèo. Năm bảy năm rồi, thì cái số lượng của các phụ nhân tổng lãnh sự thành phố giúp đỡ cho chúng tôi mỗi năm đó là khoảng ba bốn trăm triệu. Em ước mong em giống như bà em đây thôi. Education for poor children is another priority for the Consular Club of Ho Chi Minh City. The club sponsor 11th Annual Light and Belief program held by Nhung Ước Mơ Sang Volunteers Group in April 2016. 
386 children with disabilities from 10 different orphanages in the city participated. This is a platform where they could share their passion, their hope, and some of their talents. Uh, Miss uh, Alisa Macho to uh, give the present for the students on stage. <laughs> Great event to support, and we give uh, scholarships for uh, people uh, with disabilities to help them um, to be successful at school and um, to be able to um, integrate into the society. So this is uh, all about. This event is intended to raise public awareness about the talents disabled children have through showcasing and selling their handmade items for fundraising. German Deputy Consul General Olaf Macho also joined his wife at this event. A game to replicate blindness helped Macho and other visitors share their heartfelt caring for people with disabilities. Các bộ phụ nữ ngoại giao cũng đã tham gia với nhóm được nhiều chương trình. Thì tổng số tiền mà bên mình đã hỗ trợ cho nhóm là khoảng gần 100 triệu. Dùng với việc là tặng mua học bổng, tặng học bổng cho mấy mấy em, rồi tặng mua xe đạp, hỗ trợ cho mấy em vùng sâu vùng xa tại thời bàn phía Nam. Này. This is where the Consular Club gets most of the money to sponsor charity projects. The annual International Charity Bazaar in Ho Chi Minh City, held around the year's end, is the main fundraising activity of the Consular Club. It's quite successful. So we had uh, last uh, year, I was already the president, so I organized it. And uh, we had around 2,000 visitors. We could um, manage to uh, raise uh, 60,000 US dollar, which um, we now spent on 15 different projects this year. Each year, the club members bring together different cultures and products from different countries to sell at the bazaar. The bazaar has much to offer from handicrafts to fine cuisine from around the globe. I joined uh, the bazaar, yeah, and then we were also um, selling uh, wine and sh uh, sparkling wine, and we also um, gave the money to, to the consular club. Yeah. So we personally also raised some money for the project of the consular club. Through a variety of activities held at the bazaar, the funds raised are distributed to charities in accordance to the consular club guidelines. Preparations for the 23rd International Charity Bazaar by the end of 2016 are now underway. The Machos are already busy with their official activities and events. However, the German couple still have their own way to enjoy life as a local here in the Southern Hub. Olaf Macho loves to play friendly football match with his German and Vietnamese friends. What's the better way to release stress from work and make friends with the locals than these? So, jetzt mach mal vor! Life is excellent, yeah. Uh, I really enjoy my time in, in Ho Chi Minh City. Every day you can dis could discover a, a new restaurant or a new bar. I feel very enriched after the experience um, 
that I have here. Sitting together at a street side cafe, watching cars and motorbikes passing by on the street are sometimes all they need to fill this place, develop attachments with the locals, and complete their own missions in Vietnam. If you love lanterns and want to have an awesome night out in the traditional scene of Vietnam, then Hoi An is just the place for you to be. This is also this week's edition of Time Out's topic, where we get to discover what awesome stuff to do on a night out here in Hoi An. So let's go. As night comes in Hoi An ancient town, the traditional culture and lifestyle of the local people come alive as well. Among these, Bai Chai performances have attracted Vietnamese and foreign visitors alike. Bai Chai singing or traditional tent card singing is the traditional and cultural intangible heritage of Vietnam currently awaiting UNESCO's recognition. Here in Vietnam, you can actually enjoy it every single night in the ancient town of Hoi An. And this can be done for just as little as one dollar. So let's see what excitement are on offer. A game of Bai Choi includes 30 chess pieces with different names. These names are divided into 10 types of cards, which are glued on bamboo sticks. The referee, also the performer, will sing out the name of the card. The songs are often about love, life and career. For example, this song's name is Sao Tien, or Six Money. If the name matches the card, the player gets one flag. The first one to hold three flags wins the game. No one knows exactly when Bai Choi appeared. It was dated from 300 to 400 years ago and played during every spring and festival in Thu Thinh Hoa province. Bai Choi game features singing while playing cards. It takes place outdoors with about 10 thatched huts. เอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อ
think it's terrific that you can buy things that are made by local people rather than having to buy stuff that's made in different countries. It's nice to support the um, local artisans. The jewellery is really pretty here, so like, I like some of the beads and things because you can't really find them in many different countries. They're sort of rare just in Vietnam. Because of its photogenic nature and absolutely stunning colours, Hoi An has become a prime location for many soon-to-be-married couples to do the photo shoot and keep as memories to look at for the time to come. Another iconic scene of Hoi An is Tubon River and floating lanterns. Combining with ancient atmosphere, this creates a mesmerizing experience for tourists. So, what's the meaning behind these lanterns and floating them on the river? Oh, thanks for asking. And uh, we believe that when we release the flower lantern onto the river, it brings us the happiness, luckiness, and the health. And it is also the way to show our respect to the ancestor of the land. That was Hoi An at its prime, my friends. Now, we hope that you enjoyed a little adventure across the streets of Hoi An tonight. That's it for this edition of Time Out. Goodbye for now. I'm Michael Liu, and until next time. This segment of Time Out has just wrapped up this episode of Expat Living. If you would like to provide feedback or comment on anything you see in our program, feel free to email to us at expatliving at vtv.vn. You can also log on to vtv4.vn or youtube.com slash vtv4go. Thank you so much for being with us. This is Expat Living on VTV International. <laughs>